Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Three. We are going to start Unit One. Its title is, my dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students. Today, under the title of Unit One, My Family, and we are going to learn under the title of Formal and Lexical Skill about Noun. Before this, in English for Grade Two, I have already taught you about singular naming words. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further about this concept to recognize naming words as noun, demonstrate use of some nouns from immediate and extended environment. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah fifty, verse thirty-eight, and we, Allah, did certainly create the heavens and earth and what is between them in six days, and these touched us no weariness. Yes, my dear children. Subhanallah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is telling us that this earth, the heaven, and whatever is in between the them, it, this was created just within six days, and Allah was not tired of doing it. Subhanallah, how Allah can be tired? We know. And now I want you to think about whatever is between earth and heaven. Even the first heaven, the sky, we look at. Look at the sky. What is there? There is sky, clouds, stars, sun, moon, planets, many. All these then keep coming down. There are mountains. There are uh, plants. There are rivers, flowers. Oh my God! Even we cannot count. But Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala created it, and everything, whatever Allah created, there is a name. Of that, and we know the concept. First, you tell me what is a naming word. I have taught you in grade two, so tell me what is a naming word. Kindly, teachers, pause the video and take the answer of this question from every child. Yes, my dear children, I hope all of you remember that everything around us that we can. See, hold, touch, or feel has a name that is called naming word. Previously, we knew that, and in grammar, we call it noun. Everything has a name that is called a noun, and this noun may refer to a person, place, or thing. And we further categorize that noun. That refers to person, place, or thing, and there can be two categories of things: living things and non-living things. Remember, that's good. So, here I want you to just imagine this is your immediate environment. Remember, what is immediate environment? Everything which is in your surrounding. That can be a thing, person, whatever you can see around you. That is your immediate environment. So think about yourself. You are sitting here. What do you see in this picture? Pause the video and tell the maximum naming things which you can see here. All the nouns to your teacher. Yes, my dear children. I hope now you understand all the names which you told to your teacher are. Nouns, good. All the names, whatever you name. For example, mountain, sky, hut, plant, flower, grass, pole, man. Whatever you told to your teacher, it's a noun. Good. So, noun is naming word. For example, airport. It's a noun, and it refers to. A place when we want to 
fly in aeroplane, we take a ticket and we go to airport. It's a noun for place. Railway station is also a noun for place where we take a train to travel. High court, it is also name of a place. It's a court which deals on district level. Okay, then Markhor. Do you know about Markhor? Yes, this beautiful animal which is our national animal, Markhor. It's a noun. Partridge or Chukor. It's a noun, it's a bird and it's also this beautiful bird is our national bird. And here another beautiful animal, snow leopard. It is one of the rare type of leopard and alhamdulillah in Pakistan we do have snow leopard. It's also a noun. So what do we understand? What does your book say about it? Noun names a person, place or a thing. So nouns are also called naming words. So in your previous class, you were saying it's naming word, but now we'll say it's noun. It's the grammatical term which we use for naming words, right? This is very simple. You are clear about it. So let's take a few examples. Ahmed is a good boy. Here I want you to think a little deeply. Ahmed. As a naming word, it refers to a boy. So, boy is also a noun and Ahmad is also a noun. And both these, this particular name and this common naming word refers to person. Okay. Islamabad is a beautiful city. Again, city is common noun, common naming word and Islamabad is we have already discussed about it particular and common. I hope you remember. So, better this is how we find it. So, it's a name of a city. So, city and Islamabad both are nouns. I like to see the lion in the zoo. Zoo is noun for place and lion is noun for living thing. Right? Okay, so here is a practice in your book. All of you open your book. What you are supposed to do? Write naming words from the following sentences in the given blanks. So you will read the sentence and whatever nouns are there, you will write here in the given space. For example, Saira bought some ice cream. So there are two nouns. One is Sara and other is ice cream. So, you will write both nouns in the given space. Okay. So, pause the video, complete this exercise in your book. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So, here I have a very exciting activity for you. What you will do? You have to make a three column chart with the title, person, place or thing. Right? You have 20 seconds. No, 20 seconds are too less, I guess. Teacher can assign time 2 minutes or 5 minutes. This is up to your teacher. She will assign you time. And you will fill out each column with as many nouns as you can think of. And this fast-paced noun activity should take less than 2 minutes. Share your list with your class okay so let's see who thinks very quickly and smartly you will prepare a chart of three columns your teacher will uh, assign you time you will start and you will complete within the time let's see who writes the maximum nouns pause the video enjoy the activity yes my dear children are you done with it good job all of you have written nicely all the columns you filled it so for me all of you are winner good job so, I'm giving you a homework. You will pick 10 nouns from your immediate and extended environment and use them in your sentences. 
So immediate environment, you are, you know, whatever is around you and extended is which is little far off, okay. So you can consider examples from far off environment as well for your homework. So I am giving you a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it and kindly give a printed worksheet to students for practice. And students, what you will do? You will underline the nouns from the following paragraphs. There are three paragraphs. You will underline all the nouns in each paragraph. So what we have covered today, we learned that everything around us has a name that is called noun. We recalled few nouns from our immediate environment and we also learned some nouns from extended environment. So in this way, we achieved our SLO to recognize naming words as noun, demonstrate use of some nouns from immediate and extended environment. Are we done with it? Yes, and we thoroughly enjoy doing it. That's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself and the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.